so Chloe and I go on camping, just the two of us. We're heading down to Belvidia. It's uh, an hour and a half south of Perth. It's one of my favorite little campsites. Little bush site, so you're out in the wind. And uh, a short drive, most of it's unsealed, onto the beach, only a couple of minutes. So we got the camper trailer in tow, and uh, just an overnighter, just me and Chloe, so should be good. How old are you, Chloe? Two. Yeah, she's two years old. So she's just started coming camping with Dad. This video would be a little bit different to most of my other ones, but I don't know, do something different, why not? All right, so we're here and we found a, a good little bay. This one's nice and level. It's in sun at the moment, but I know that with all this tree cover, it'll be in shade by the afternoon. So um, we're not too far from... Don't carry you, sorry. We're not too far from the toilets. That's the toilet block just over there. Big site, you get a big van in here if you needed to. And nice and level, so I don't have to bother chocking the, uh, putting the wheel ramps or anything down. There's a table and a fire pit. All the sites are quite um, sandy and it's quite dirty sand though, so I'll probably stay out of there. And we'll just stay on the uh, limestone here. So anyway, I'll set the camper up. Chloe's having a bit of an explore. Anyway, it's bloody 38 degrees today here, so we're going to leave the trailer here. We're going to disconnect the car, let the uh, tyres down, and we'll go drive onto the beach. Put the awning out if it's not too windy, and we'll just spend the whole day just swimming and chilling on the beach. but we've gotten so lucky because the water is calm as so yeah my my car computer is reading about 37 degrees so we're gonna pull up and probably set up the awning and have a bit of a swim you feel like a swim Chloe? yeah yeah you don't want to have a swim oh what do you want to do sit down on a towel that sounds good let's do that now eh yeah. Yeah, I brought a towel. Yeah. Midweek, whole beach to ourselves. Water is calm as. It's pretty good. What do you reckon, Bobby? Good spot? Mm. Yeah? Um, Bobby doesn't want to sit in the sand pit. Bobby doesn't want to sit in the sand pit, alright. Time for a dip to cool off, I reckon. Yeah, so we've had a big swim pretty much most of the day. And we're knackered, a heap of sun. We'll, we'll both have an early night tonight. Chloe normally has a day sleep, but she skipped it today. And it was far too hot to sleep in the camper trailer anyway. So we're just chilling out at camp with our two mates, the cookers. And uh, Chloe's currently getting changed again I think for whatever reason our kid likes to get changed 30 times a day which is a nightmare if you do the washing you getting changed again yeah how come Because I like changed. you like getting changed yeah all right um yeah super simple setup not bothering putting the floor down like I said because we've got a nice hard floor here anyway it's not too dirty I didn't bother putting the awning out because we're out on the beach until the sun was starting to set anyway. S still bloody warm, so um, I've got the shower set up for tonight to wash all the salt off us, but I won't even turn the gas on, so I'm basically, I'm just 
running the water through the unit, it's not even going to heat it because the tank's going to be warm anyway. I think, was it nearly 43 degrees today? It hasn't felt that hot for us because we've been on the coast, we've been swimming. Uh, we've obviously got no aircon, no generators, just fans in the um, camper. I'll show you them. A couple of Sirocco fans. These things can be hardwired or whatever. I've put, um, I've wired cables up to them and I've put C clips on them so they can clip. There's two there at the moment. They can clip anywhere in this camper, wherever there's a post. So we've got three of them so we can have one each for Tiff and I while we're sleeping and then one on Chloe as well. So th that's Chloe's one. This one I've just clipped there because I thought she might have a day sleep and I wanted it to be cool enough. But um, it's still warm in here. 38 degrees still, so that'll cool down. Should be about 20, 22 tonight, which is comfortable anyway. So we'll be right. But yeah, I'll get some dinner into the kid. I'll have a bit of wine and um, we'll have an early night. We'll have a shower just before bed so we don't get dirty getting into bed. And that's us. Um, that wine I'm drinking. It was from Drake's, Drake's Brook. That's a really nice little red wine. I'm not a huge wine connoisseur. I'm more of a beer drinker. I don't mind a little bit of red, especially camping though. But that was a really nice bottle of red from um, yeah, Drake's, Brook, Drake's Brook Winery. Cockatoo. That's... Sorry? Cockatoo. Cockatoo? No, crackers. Crackers? Yeah. Yeah, we had crackers too. Um, yeah, that bottle was from uh, a winery right near Lake Navarino where we were last weekend. The weekend just gone couple of days ago um, uh, that was a family trip Tiff came along with the camper trailer and we camped Lake Navarino which is Waruna Dam so I'll roll you some footage from that anyway while I'm getting dinner and stuff together We've come back to Waruna Dam or Lake Navarino. 10 bucks a night, and I think, or each, and five bucks a night for Chloe, so 50 bucks for two nights. And got a good little spot right on the dam. There's ski boats going the whole time. If that annoys you, then don't come down here. But um, yeah, nice little spot. Pretty quiet other than the boats. <coughs> you got a new bed? <coughs> Where's your new bed? Yeah, you got a new mattress. And you got a new sleeping bag too. Mm. You're lucky. A and a new rail. Oh, we fixed this rail now so that it can actually, we used to have to take it off and move it every time we pack up. Now it can, um, it folds back down. So it's a bit quicker. Yeah, it's really simple, and quick and easy. And that's the beauty of it. Where's the instruction manual? It's because this one's all stuck. Yeah, it, it folds down. Anyway, it folds down. What else are we trying out? We're trying out lots of stuff. New little things to make life on the road a little bit easier. There we go. Whee! And yeah, new mattress. We got a, um, what is it? A single mattress from Clark Rubber. And these IKEA. Oh yeah, little, holders. little pockets from Ikea, so Chloe can put a drink bottle or whatever in there, a torch or something. And we're also going to see, where's that from, Big W? Yeah. An overdoor air dryer. We're going to see if we can hang it off the side of the camper, not the side that's got the awning, but the other side so we can dry clothes when we're at camp. And another thing we got recently is a couple of new e-bikes, electric bikes, and I've just sorted out a rack for them. So they're going to go on the back of the camper. These things are really cool. Uh, NCM Moscow is the make. Already sorted out the baby carrier for Chloe. And yeah, like I said, I've, a mate sorted me out with a, uh, a rack to carry them. Had to be pretty heavy duty because they're going to be bouncing a lot in the back. And they are heavy. Um, so yeah, Tiff's got a 27.5. I've got a 29er. Just need to sort out some lights for the back of the carrier now because you can't see the indicators or anything. But yeah, they'll be a heap of fun and I'll be able to charge them off the inverter in the car when we get to campsites. So yeah, we're here for two nights. 
brought the kayak as well. Probably go for a bit of a paddle. Have a ride around on the pushies. Eat, drink, the usual. Should be good. And it'll be cold tonight, so um, down to seven degrees, even though we're in the middle of summer. So we'll have the diesel heater cranking so we're nice and comfortable. And I'm not even bothering putting out the, the awning because we've got quite a good uh, cover of trees. Your tummy's getting sore, why? Because you're starving. Yeah. So you're going to eat all your dinner? Yeah. All right, let's get your dinner on now. Yeah. So for dinner tonight, just real simple. We just got leftovers and I'll reheat them in the microwave. <clears throat> just makes it easier camping with a little one. You have to bring so many more ingredients if you're cooking, you know. So, and also because she doesn't eat much. So we just cook up a big batch of whatever we're having. And then we, um, you know, stick a little, little portions and some little Tupperwares for her. So inverter on, and I'm banging in the microwave. You be careful standing there, bub. Okay. Good girl. So this has travelled pretty well. I haven't had any dramas with it. I thought it might break. We've done quite a lot of corrugations and it's been fine. But what I do is I've left the glass turntable in that cardboard packaging. So it's as simple as that. As simple as that. <laughs> That's always the way. All right. So I'll bang that in for three or four minutes. This is my hillbilly washing line. Does the jobby. So that's dinner sorted. These new Oztent Gecko chairs are really cool. The side table can swivel around the whole way, so I can even use it so I can eat a meal on my lap, or I can swivel it right around and drop it down lower so Chloe can use it as a table as well. So, or as a snacks table off to the side if you got, if, you know, in the middle between two chairs, really handy. That's Daddy. Oh, that's Daddy. Chloe's looking through all the photos on my phone. It's Chloe, Daddy. Look, it's Chloe. Yeah. Hiding. I'm just going to have a microwave meal as well. You want to try my dinner? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could swap. Yeah. I'm swap, Daddy. Daddy, this is swap. Go up my dinner. Alright, hang on. Dinner, Good? Yeah. It's really bit hot. It's just warm. It'll be alright. Gotcha! <laughs> you got a prickle in your sand shoes? Yeah. What is it, a prickle? Yeah. How do you say that? So we're starting to feel surrounded by cookers. We've just noticed there's one right here. And then there's his mate, just there. 
and then there's another three in this tree. Dad, I'll come a bit closer, Daddy. Am I too close? Yeah. So we reckon we're going to be waking up pretty early tomorrow. But that's all right. They're going to be laughing in the morning, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Come around here, there's a, there's a um, kangaroo. Kangaroo. Have a look. Can you see him? We'll just see if he lets us come a little bit closer. Okay. He doesn't seem. Oh, running away. Yeah. Come on, we'll leave him be. Yeah. Just see him snoring. Yeah, we'll leave him alone. Yeah, just see him snoring. You don't think you're going to be hot with the pajamas, the woolen blanket, and the sleeping bag? No. Okay. If you're sure. Yeah, is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Mm. I'll leave it on. Yeah, I'll leave it on. Yeah. I like it on. Alright. I like it on. Alright, no worries. Love you, Bobby. Love you, Mummy. Daddy. Who am I? Mummy oh. or Daddy? Oh, I'm not Bobby. I'm not Daddy. Yeah. Love you. Good night. Good night. Just doing some leftover pancakes for Chloe for breakfast. They cooked these yesterday. So I'll just give him a zap in the microwave. And that's brekkie sword. I think these were banana pancakes, weren't they? So breakfast is down and we just hit the beach. It's still early, so the wind isn't up. It's dead flat out there, it's beautiful. And uh, we're gonna go find some dolphins, eh, Chloe? Yeah. Yeah. You want your window down? Mm. You know, look out. You tell Daddy if you find any dolphins. This is the spot where I consistently see dolphins every single time we come. And we were, we were just sitting and chilling in the shade, waiting for them. A couple came in way out past those buoys. Well, I think they look like they're fishing or something. They're not, not coming in and frolicking close to shore so you can't really see it on camera anyway. Cool buddy, should we get going? Pat trailer up? Yeah, back at the campsite, we'll go pack it up, eh? Yeah. Let's do that. Daddy, I have enough to turn this button off. Mm-hmm. 